Hello world, Geriatric Geek here. How in the heck are you? I hope you're doing great. It's another beautiful morning here in North Las Vegas. It's not going to be very hot today. It's not going to be more than the 80s. That's a beautiful thing as far as I'm concerned. So it is Monday, May 18th, 2020. And I have, as promised, as you can see below, some more bull moose. Bull Moose, music, movies, and video games. As you can see, this one says PS3. PS3, games, that's right. So this is how they, well, let me see, let me show you. They come in this, I've taken them out of this package already, and then they come like this. So we'll get these opened up. And we'll take a look and see what they have sent us this week. I'm excited. I love, you know me, I love mystery. And that's what this is all about. You never know what you're going to get. I probably have a lot of this stuff. I probably don't even know what it is or what it, because I don't watch a lot of mainstream type movies. I watch mostly horror stuff. So that's just me, you know. Um, you guys may, uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this because of the mystery and the kind of a fun thing. These things from, I'll leave a link where you can find your own little grab bags on Bull Moose. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive. Um, I think I'm paying 30, between 30 and 40 cents a piece because I buy, I make sure I buy more than $30 worth because then you get free shipping. So anyway, let's check it out. Let's see what they've sent us. Um, so, okay, we've got this pile here from, from there. Okay, let's open up some more. Very good. All right. So, first one off the block is going to be... Shall I let you guys see first? That's kind of fun. There you go. Can you see? Can you see? What is that? Serving Sarah. Serving Sarah. I have no idea what that's all about. All of, I, can, I expect it's a rom-com of some sort. Yeah. Rom-com. I know nothing about this, guys. So let me know down below if you know anything about Serving Sarah. First one off the top. Next up we have, these things stick together, so, there you go, what is that, ah, I recognize this one I think, it's American History X, yeah, yeah, that one's, I know that one's R rated, oh, I was upside down, sorry, <laughs> American History X. A neo-Nazi skinhead that goes that um, goes mainstream, basically. Tries to, and I think he's trying like he's trying to keep his son from joining the gang. Uh, when I worked in the prison, uh, skinheads were a problem. So that's pretty cool. I did, I did not have that one in my collection, so but I have seen it. Next up we have uh -oh, a flipper. Ah, I can tell already. See if you can see what it is. I think it says Selena. We got Jennifer Lopez, right? Jennifer Lopez is Selena. I've not seen that one. Let me know down below if you enjoyed Selena. Hmm. Very cool. All right. Next up we have. The Reef. The Reef. I have seen this one. I do believe it's, of course, it's G-rated. Um, it's a full screener. I imagine a lot of these are full screen and not widescreen. I'm trying to get rid of them. I don't remember this one exactly. I just don't remember. 
Something about the Great Barrier Reef, though, down in Australia. Let me know down below. Is that one any good? Have you seen it? Next up, we have... So you get, you get 10 of these per pack, 10 DVDs per pack. What's that? Oh, Nims Island. Nims Island. In 2008, Fox, full screen. <laughs> Nims Island. I remember, oh, I believe I watched this quite a while ago. It's got like, Jodie Foster in it, maybe. I don't remember exactly. Let me know down below. It's a pretty good, pretty good movie as far as I can remember. I watched a lot of these things with my kids and grandkids, so I may not have been paying as much attention as I should have. <laughs> Excuse my hair. I do have pandemic hair. My wife wants to cut it, but I won't let her. There we go. What is that? The Mortal, the mortal Instrument, City of Bones. Action fantasy. I remember this one being pretty good. It's a trip into the fantasy land. Trip into the shadow world, rather. It's in pretty good shape, too. Pretty good shape. Uh oh, another flipper. What is that? Okay, looks like gods and generals. Gods and generals. As I recall, Gods and General, help me out here, it's about um, Thomas Stonewall Jackson, as I recall. Thomas, yeah, Thomas Jackson. Stonewall Jackson, yeah. In the Civil War. So, Gods and General, that kind of needs cleaning up, doesn't it? That one's kind of messed up. Next up we have 12 Rounds Extreme Cut. 12 Rounds Extreme Cut. Looks like John Cena on there to me. Is that right? I've never seen this one. Let me know. Is it any good? It's in really good shape. Not a, not a fingerprint on that one. All right. Getting through them. Let's see, oh, I know this one, You, Me, and Dupree. Of course, it's a rom-com with Owen Wilson and Kate Hudson, I do believe. Pretty funny. I enjoyed it. Let me know down below, did you enjoy it? It's PG-13. Anamorphic widescreen. <laughs> All right, getting through them, guys. Here we go. I don't know this one. The Water Horse Legend of the Deep. The Water Horse, Legend of the Deep. Know well, nothing about that. Let me know down below what that's all about. From 2008, it looks like. Not rated. Hmm. I don't know whether that's just the special features disc or it's whether it has the actual movie on it or not. Could get either, I guess, with these things. Next up, what is, uh, John Wayne, Atari, Action Adventure. That's an oldie but goldie, man. Atari? Let me know. John Wayne, I don't remember this. I mean, I, I suspect I watched it, but this is probably a 1960s film, I think. I don't recall it right off. I wouldn't have been very old then. Ong Bak Tu? Ong Bak Tu? With Tony Ya, right? Action film. This is Ong Bak Tu, The Beginning. Hmm. I do like some Tony Ya, though. Next up, we have, uh oh, oh, I say there's two of them. This is the disc two. There's disc one of Ong Bak Two. I 
the cover art. Next up we have Despicable Me! Yeah, something for the kids. It's a really good animated comedy as far as I'm concerned. I enjoy it. I know my grandkids enjoyed it. PG. Next up. <laughs> I remember this. Dragnet. This has got vol this is volume three, three classic episodes, The Big Crime, The Big Shoplift, and The Big Girl. <laughs> this is from back in 1960s also. With Sergeant Joe Friday. <laughs> I enjoy that one. I haven't watched that in years. I'll try how watch that. There we go. We got Medea. Medea's Witness Protection. Comedy dropper a comedy and drama. Of course it's Tyler Perry. I enjoyed his earlier stuff more than I did the later stuff, but uh Witness Protection, that's pretty good. Next up we have Live free or die hard, unrated. Live free or die hard, unrated. Bruce Willis as John McClane. Good flick. The whole series I thought was excellent. Excellent. Another flipper disc here. It says Rumble in the Bronx, I do believe. Rumble in the Bronx. Can't remember who's in that. Is that Jackie Chan? Can't remember. Rumble in the Bronx. Bronx. I don't remember. All right. Something called Commandos. Commandos. Know nothing about that one. Digiview, whatever that is. Commandos. Let me know down below what the Commandos is all about, if you know. I know nothing. I know nothing. Oh, you see right here, this is one of my favorite kind of movies. Robin Hood. I'm not sure whether this is the... Uh, let's see, there's a 2010 one. This is not rated PG-13. Cannot see which one this is. Ah, this is a 2010 one. Okay. With Russell. That one had Russell Crowe. Like it. I like it. Good movie. I do have that one. Another good movie. Papillon. 1973, Steve McQueen and Dustin Hoffman. Steve McQueen and Dustin Hoffman. What a good movie. That's from back in the early 1970s. Great drama. And I believe this is the last of the DVDs. <laughs> That's a really good one. The Big Lebowski. Great movie. Jeff Bridges, John Goodman. Yeah. Collector's edition. <laughs> All right. And we did get, like I showed you before. Oh, well, we got, looks like shows you it's the grab bag for TV. TV grab bag. Let's see what they sent along. Got them all rubber band together. Must be the whole series. I'm thinking. Yeah. Of NCIS. You see they have, have them like that. And there's a whole bunch of them. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. It looks like five discs. 
So it must be the whole NCIS. Pretty good show. I didn't, I've never watched, I've watched a few episodes, but not all of them. NCIS. And the next, there's only two in there. All right. We got The Simpsons. I don't know what year this is, but it is, looks like it's the whole, the whole collection from one season. I wonder if this is season three. It has the uh, Michael Jackson one on it, maybe. I don't remember what this would look like. Anyone recognize the first disc on that one? Is that season three? I don't know. Next we have two Blu-ray discs. They come in these white packages, as you can see. We have, all right, this is a good one. It's like Guardians of the Galaxy. Chris Pratt, Zoe Saldana, and of course, Groot. All right, I do have that one, but I'll send that one off to one of my buddies. That's pretty cool. And another Bruce Willis. Blu-ray, A Good Day to Die Hard. It's, of course, John McClane. This time they're in Russia, I do believe, yeah. So, all right, pretty cool. What'd you guys think of that group of mystery DVDs and Blu-rays from uh, Bull Moose? Let's look at these PS3s. I do have the PS3s here. Let's see what they've sent along as far as PS3 games. I probably will not know any of these. Uh, well, I do know this one. Madden 10. Madden 10. That's a, yeah, these are Blu-ray discs. Next up we have... Try not to scratch them up too much. Major League Baseball 2K9. 2009, I guess. A little baseball action. PlayStation 3. Next one is, all right, a little NHL. I've been spending a lot of time watching replays of the Golden Knights. It's funny that my wife will come up and say, who's winning? And they're only showing games where the Golden Knights won, so it's an easy answer. <laughs> NHL 10. And it looks like two more. FIFA Soccer 2010, I suspect. A little soccer action. And last. Well, I don't know this game. I mean, I've heard of it, but I don't know it. Destiny. What do you think, guys? Any good? destiny so there you go from bull moose you can get like i said you can get music you can get movies you can get video games for real inexpensive and you know what if you're not real picky you can get some really cool stuff it looks like so i'm having fun with these things i've got a couple more um boxes coming from uh bull moose I've got this one already, so that's going to be in another video. So anyway, oh, by the way, I'm going to make a run to a Goodwill. Hopefully, uh, uh, either today or tomorrow, Let's we'll, we'll see if I can get in this time and, and actually buy something. So if you like this video and want to see more of them, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget, subscribe. But before I let you go, the old geriatric geek has... A giveaway that's right I'm going to be giving away for my subscribers only we're gonna do this price is right style again so you're going to give me a number between 0 and 150 we'll try 150 again 0 and 150 hopefully that'll be enough numbers and the closest two without going over closest two without going over we'll get a brand new factory sealed. How's Joe do that? Like that. Brand new factory sealed. Birds of prey. 
and the fabulous emancipation of the of one Harley Quinn. I enjoyed it. I mean, a lot of people didn't like it. A lot of folks didn't like it, but I did. So, you're going to have an opportunity. If you're a subscriber, if you're not, you need to sign up now. And you'll, you'll get this. I'll take care of the uh, media mail, ship it off to you. So, good luck. 0150 without going over. You have to get up your closest to without going over. Uh, 0 to 150. Uh, let's see, it's right now, just told me, 8.30 in the morning on the Monday morning. So 8.30 tomorrow morning, we'll cut off the guesses. And some point tomorrow afternoon, I hope, I'll let you guys know who won. We'll do a on-video drawing. for the. We'll do the number generator again. And uh, see who won. So good luck. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, please subscribe. Help get this old fool over the... Uh, over the thousand subscriber mark before the end of this year. Let's do it. So until later, you guys keep smiling, keep having fun. Peace.